It's another pen mail day. <laughs> and you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to aggregate a couple of pen mail days because we had uh, one or two mail days besides today uh, since my last pen mail video. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that we got here in the mail. Uh, number one, uh, Mass Drop finally delivered to me something I had purchased a while back, a J. Herbon demonstrator pen, a two-pack of these, and uh, a bottle of ink that came with it. So I got two of these in a small little 10 milliliter bottle of ink. There's a full review that's been recorded, and I will be producing it, and that will be up in a little while. Uh, next up, also, uh, we'll be doing for a review this. This is something that was special requested by one of my viewers to do a review on the Jinhao 911. Before you tune me out, because I said the word Jinhao, you'll want to see this one. Um, I think you will be surprised probably as much as I was. So, there's that. Uh, also, uh, by viewer request, um, the Platignum Studio number 5, which I got in the mail. And it came in a, in a pack and, you know, a little gift box like this in a blister pack. Full review on that. Already recorded. And now I just got to produce it. So three pens that came in a little bit earlier uh, those have already been recorded um, my wife uh, ordered something uh, from wish.com for about a dollar a pack of about half a dozen uh, little fountain pens and they're just children's plastic pens and uh, these look to be produced by Ahow or C-H-R-E-N uh, Tren or Kren the thing is um, it has some of the same designs as a how uh, on there. So uh, there you go. That's uh, something I haven't inked up yet. It just showed up in the mail today. And uh, some of them take cartridges. One of them actually has a squeeze bulb converter on it. So um, she just handed, told me, hey, take your pick. So I picked the one that has uh, you know the Eiffel Tower on it because uh, why not? All right, um, also a couple of other things that have arrived and I'm saving those to show you until I get the chance to sit down with Matthew and I'm only gonna do that after I do some cleaning. Um, I've got a whole host of pens to clean out. Some of them are mine, some of them are my wife's and some of them are ones that we received from a viewer of ours that was very generous. And um, I don't wanna mention her name because I don't know if she wants her name mentioned. Um, but uh, thank you so much. Um, you and I have already been in contact uh, via messenger and those pens did arrive and uh, my son um, was happy about those. He wanted to get those cleaned up so I can ink them up uh, on some of those uh, and he's got some of them that were uh, fresh out of a pack that were already inked up and he's been using those. Quite honestly, so have I, because I could. Because they were sitting on my desk and they were handy. Uh, so we have uh, some of those inked up. Um, and then, for those of you who also watch uh, other YouTube video folks, uh, Steph uh, over at Grand Mia Pens, uh, way over across the pond in England, uh, was very benevolent towards my son Matthew as well. I, I don't know what it is. He must have all of you guys snowballed into thinking that he's a really nice kid. Actually, he's just some kid that was uh, a neighborhood kid. I paid 10 bucks for him to pretend to be my son just so I can get pens, uh, you know, just joking, just joking, okay? Yes, he's actually my son, and yes, he's junior, and my name's on his birth certificate. So before you get angry and throw things at me and send me nasty, uh, nasty hate mail... Uh, no, but seriously, um, you guys must believe that he's uh, he's a really nice special kid because you guys send him stuff. Um, he's always happy when you guys do that. I've got the best viewers. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Uh, all of you who comment, uh, who share, who discuss, uh, and even send gifts from time to time, um, you're blowing Matthew's mind. He doesn't know what he did to deserve it, um, but and he's very happy. So he's got more pens to play with now. He's got a buttload more to play with so I got more to play with today too yeehaw so wanted to share with you um, Danny Trio usually Danny Trio nowadays is known for making those really high-end maquillage works of art uh, Yerushi lacquered pens uh, Japanese style pens that are 
custom made, handmade, that are going to cost way over a thousand dollars, you know, a thousand to five thousand and up. And I've looked at those online and drooled over them. And I've even looked at used ones at, uh, you know, twelve hundred, fourteen hundred, eighteen hundred, two thousand, five thousand. I've looked at those and gone, oh. Well, um, some time ago, I shared with you that I bought this pen here. This is a Danny Trio. And I got this. Uh, Newton Pens has an auction, a, a charity auction. They have a scholarship fund. Sean Newton used to be a school teacher, and one of the things that his passion for is to help them go to college. So he has a uh, scholarship fund that he sets up. And one of the things he does is he'll auction off pens to the highest bidder. And right now, someone else is a high bidder on a Danny Trio on his site right now. And this Danny Trio pen right here is a buttery, buttery smooth. I was astounded at how well it wrote. I was impressed. And for the little bit of money I spent on this pen, I said, that's awesome. Well, Danny Trio used to make pens like this before they switched about 12, 10, 12 years ago to doing only the high-end custom Yerushi Lacquer, Mackie A style pens. They used to make a lot of pens like this. Some of them are going to look familiar. And I just happened to have found Chatterley Luxuries had a bunch of them in stock. After I bought that one, I went to the Chatterley website and I found um, another one. They only had a second one at the time. And I was going to order it until they wanted 20 bucks for shipping. So I wasn't going to pay 20 or $30 for a pen and 20 to ship it. I said, forget that. So just on a whim, I went there and they had a half a dozen or so Danny Trios. I was like, oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. pen mail. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me uh, open some of these up. There's this one. This one might look a little familiar to you. Look at that. That's a beautiful looking pen. This one may look a little bit like this, a little. But um, this is a Hero 901. The same basic styling. Um, yeah, but you know, a little different. So I'd say this may have some inspiration from these. Don't know for sure. But the black, you know, with a, with a little Greek um, ornation on that, doggone, that's a good looking pen. And I'm telling you right now, I have not inked any of these up. I mean, I just barely got the UPS package delivered to my door. And I opened it up, I was like, it's like Christmas around here to me. All right, so let's look at the next one. Now this one should look really familiar. Let me show you the one that should look really familiar. The Jinhao Dragon Pen. Okay, meet Danny Trio. I forget the actual name of, oh, oh yeah, the fan the Fantas one. So it's a Danny, it says right on it. Right there. The, fun, the Fantas one. Danny. So at the bottom, they both have a similar style where that cap would go. But look at this one. I like this pen. It's a great writing pen. It's a Jin Hao pen I got for about 12 bucks. Ooh, this one, folks, this one, look at this. Oh, good grief, I cannot wait to play with it. It's a steel nib. Caps very nicely. Not as heavy as it looks, I'm telling you that. Mm. I am looking so forward to playing with my new pens on that. Look at that. That's just a gorgeous. When I opened it up, my wife was standing there. She goes, Ooh. <laughs> a 
Look at that beautiful red. Now I'm talking that was like new in a package. It has still had the cellophane on it. Here's the first one I bought. Here's the second one, uh, the one that just came today. Designs just a little bit around, different around the cap, because it's got that that Greek uh, style there. But if this writes anywhere near as smoothly as the other one, this is going to be out of the park home run right there, baby. Look at that. Mmm. I wonder if that'll get Daddy some love and if I give it to the right person. Another box. And another new in package. Hold on. A Danny pen and pencil set. So. Pencil, really nice looking. And the Danny pen. Well, there we go. The top on this one seems a little loose. So I'll have to see if I can tighten that sucker up a little bit. It just looks like there's a set screw down in the bottom that I may be able to get to. I don't know. But still, a right good looking but smaller Danny Trio pen pen and pencil scent. So, anyway, pen mail for today. So, four Danny Trios, um, a, a couple of Jay Herbin, um Matthew got stuff. I'll share it. Matthew I'm, has already told me he wants to do a video where he can show you all the pens that he has been getting from you viewers, um, you people who have been extremely generous to him. He wanted to do a video to thank you and to show it off. Um, and the Platignum, um, and my wife got some you know, a, a cheap pack of dollar pens, plastic student or child pens. So, pen mail for today, uh, November the 20th. And that comes from the, let's see, from the weekend over in, until today being a Monday. Thanks for watching.